When you've installed online armor, you will be presented with this window. You will firstly check for updates, processes, start menu, etc. So I will pause this video whilst it goes through this process. As you can see, some items need attention. So click next, go through your programs, and allow or disallow any that you like. You can also block specific programs, which is always a good idea. I've run this before, so it's quicker for me. Mine are all preset. If you go to next, it will find some unrecognized programs. It's entirely up to you to decide whether to allow them to run or not to run, if you know what they are. If you're using Internet Explorer, it will find browser extensions. It's usually safe to allow them. If you don't know them, then set this to ask or block. Internet settings, if you use a proxy, use this setting, fill in the details. The firewall, automatically allow trusted programs to access the internet. Enable logging, for most people blocked events will do, or you can opt for all activity. Content control, you can check by hash, show firewall activity in tray, and notify me when programs are auto-trusted. Auto auto you can also un uninstall the firewall from here. The exclusions, backup, restore, and hotkeys do not function on the free version. Following this, you will need to restart. So at this point, I will pause the video and come back to it. After rebooting, you'll be presented with this window. You have your program guide, your firewall, programs. It will show you the list of allowed programs or those that you've requested to ask or block. It will also show you the startup items, Internet Explorer items, hosts. This one you will find a lot of them that you really wouldn't want to go to. And although it says allowed, they are actually blocked so you're quite safe to leave this as it is. Your firewall, this shows you what is running, you can create rules, your interface shows you your internet connection, it also shows on, under computers what computers are connected. You have a history where you can check each item, you can clear this list, and you're back to the options which we covered previously. Down in the taskbar, you will notice that you have a firewall status window, which will show you the status of all your connections, and you can check this at any time. You also have the shield. This will take you to the configuration page we've just left. You have help, tall email on the web, which will give you more help. You can set a password. It's set to standard mode as the advanced banking AL Shield and Web Shield are not available in the free program. You have Program Guard, Firewall, Firewall Status. You can view the firewall log info. You can start a system file scan. You can stop the scan. You can show the scan progress. Leave it in learning mode. You can block all network traffic, deactivate HIPS features, close and shut down online armor, or close the interface. Uh, basically, that's it. It's set up, it's easy to use and simple and straightforward. When you've finished, make sure all your other firewall bits and pieces from previous ones are removed. Use the Norton tool from Norton and so on. Any problems, then check out my blog. I hope this has been of some use to you.